solar energy storage system is generally consisted of PV modules, MPPT inverter, battery, grid power, monitoring devices and electrical appliances. Robot SPE 8000-12000 ES series hybrid inverter can use Wi-Fi or 4G device for remote monitoring. SPE 8000-12000 ES inverter key features Maximum PV input voltage up to 550 VDC 2 AC input terminals with integrated transfer switch Featuring grid tight function for time of use and peak shaving Dual outputs for smart load management Dual MPP trackers Unpacking and inspection Before installation Please inspect the unit to be sure that nothing inside the package is damaged. Also confirm received the below items. This section will briefly show the inverter display interface and its port definition. Before installation, we need to prepare the tools. Do not mount the inverter on flammable construction materials. Mount on solid surface. Install this inverter at eye level in order to allow the LCD display to be read at all times. The ambient temperature should be between 0 and 50 degrees Celsius to ensure optimal operation. The recommended installation position is to be adhered to the wall vertically. The proper air circulation to dissipate heat allow a clearance of approximately 20 cm to the side and approximate 50 cm above and below the unit. Install the unit by screwing three screws. It's recommended to use M4 or M5 screws. After that, can connect PV, AC input, and output wire to the inverter port. For the communication port, plug Wi-Fi or 4G logger sticking to the Wi-Fi and 4G port and tighten it by screw. CT is an optional accessory that needs to be purchased separately. Currently, the available optional CT specifications are as follows. For single-phase system, only one CT needs to be connected to the inverter number one and placed near the grid. Other inverters no longer need an external CT. An entire single-phase parallel system only needs one external CT. For three-phase system, select one inverter in each of the three phases to connect to the CT. The entire three-phase parallel system requires three external CTs, which are placed near the grid. Power on and off button. Once the unit has been properly installed and the batteries are connected well, then can turn on the inverter. After pressing and holding enter button for 3 seconds, the inverter will enter setting mode. Press up and down button to select setting programs, then press enter button to confirm the selection or ESC button to exit. Program 99. Quick settings. After setting TY1, TY2, or TY3, the initial default values of some settings will be changed. Users can set them based on actual usage, which can help users quickly set the inverter's settings. Program 67 Feed to grid configuration when program setting to ENA. Solar energy feed to grid enabled. Program 74 Battery feed type after enabling battery feed function through Program 7.1, three discharge time periods can be set through Program 7.4. Program 7.6 Export Limit Function When program setting to ENA, enable External CT Export Limit Function. More setting information, please check User Manual. There is a troubleshooting suggestion in our User Manual. If the inverter gives default information, you can refer to the list to repair it. If there is something you can't deal with, please contact the GrowWatch Service Center.